Okay, so this is a quick video talking about how to use shapers. Let's just go ahead and hide this and hide the gap for stuff. And let's scale this down, something like this, maybe. And like this, you know, something like, I don't know, something like that might be nice. Control A, let's just scale. Now we'll go into KitOps, and with the new KitOps Pro, we have these new shapers. Um, and let's just, you know, go into here, let's grab, grab one of these. Let's say, uh, Oh, I don't know. Let's take uh, maybe this one right here. Let's, let's make sure we set it to face mode. So we snap to the face, add insert, and we'll just kind of do something like maybe that. Stretch it off. Yeah, maybe something like that. And then let's go back into the shapers and let's grab something else like maybe, I don't know, maybe this. Add insert, that thing will be snapped in the back right here. So we'll just make it tiny, kind of like this. And again, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. So let's just kind of pull it in. Give us kind of an interesting little, you know, a little shape area here. Let's see. Yeah, something like that might be cool. And then we'll go into our uh, modifiers and we just mirror this on the Y so we put it on the other side too and you know maybe we'll just see what else we got here let's grab this one and let's add that insert over here something like this stretch it out You know, something like that. We'll just mirror it around. So we're starting to use shapers to kind of create what it is that we're looking, you know, looking for some kind of shape, some interesting shapes, right? So, and you know, maybe we'll have one more like, uh, let's see, what do we have here? How about something like this? Yeah, there we go. And let's just drop that right there. And let's move it over a little bit, something like so. Yeah, let's just, there you go. Something like that might be nice. Especially if we're looking at this from this, from this viewpoint, that's kind of a neat little detail. You know, and once we've got that done, then it's real fast, easy to go ahead and just grab, you know, we go in here. And we also have these others we have, uh, let's just grab some screens. Let's grab a quick screen. Let's say something like this. Let's take that over here. I hit end button to put it anywhere we want to. Alt. Maybe there. Oops. Undo. Maybe scale it up a little bit. And just move it over, just move it over a tad, something like that, maybe. Maybe we'll add some buttons, some controls to that, or some controls, controls. Let's grab maybe something like this. You know, stick these maybe right here. Maybe grab another one like this. And that insert, put it over here somewhere. Maybe we'll go into the widgets. Let's grab a, one of these guys. Add that insert right here. Rotate it up. Like so. Let's mirror on the Y. So you can start to see that by using shapers, we can create kind of an interesting surface area. And then we can just, you know, add the details as we go, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, and if we just, let's go ahead and, Look at this material. Let's come here and describe a material. Sci-fi materials. Let me see this simple. This, this one right here. Oops. Set that. Add material. There we go. And let's just adjust the width of this. Edge width 0.005. Something tiny, tiny, tiny. And that'll actually probably render fine when we look at it in you know, an HDRI map. Yeah. So that looks pretty good. You can see this little, little bit of an edge. You can grab this, add the material to that. 
this, add the material to that, so we kind of get you know, matching materials. Maybe we'll go ahead and add a decal. Turn Gaffer back on, see what our model looks like. Turn on our basic scene. You know, move this down just a smidge. Get a little drop shot on there. You know, so you can see we can very quickly create something using these shapers. We can get an interesting shape, and then we can go ahead and start to add, you know, whatever widgets we want to add to that thing. So it gives you an idea how quickly you can use some of these uh, new tools in KitOps 3 to create, you know, create something of interest. So anyway, that's it.